Ok, estamos eh, grabando esta clase. We're recording this class for the students of the pre-intermediate course. And uh, we're going to discuss vocabulary, but we're going to focus on a listening activity. The topic of today is out for dinner. Ese es el tema de hoy central, out for dinner. El enfoque va a ser listening. Vamos a hacer bastante listening. Y estamos preparándonos con una lista de vocabulario que siempre hacemos. Recuérdense que el, sin vocabulario no tenemos nada. Siempre es importante eh, tener el vocabulario eh, pues para poder practicar. So, let's go here. Estamos practicando la expresión out for dinner. Out for dinner um, es salir a cenar. Eh, la definición es to dine away from home, especially in a restaurant. Es ir a comer fuera de casa, pero especialmente en un restaurante. Ejemplo, I'm going out for dinner with Melanie. También pueden utilizarlo como un phrasal verb y decir take someone out for dinner. La expresión to take out someone for dinner means to have dinner at the expense of someone else. That means to uh, practically you pay, tú pagas, tú pagas por la cena, tú invitas a la otra persona. Es incorrecto decir uh, I'm going to invite you. No, I'm going to take you out for dinner. For example here, I'm going to take my mother out for dinner. A ver, los estudiantes tienen ya ejemplos preparados. Let's see. Begin. Uh, Diego Figueroa, what are your examples? Okay. Let's have Erickson. What is your example? Diego, teacher? Yep. Can I get your example, yeah. please? We'll take uh, out. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to go out for dinner with my mom. All right, nice. I want to go out for dinner with my mom. Excellent. What was your other example? I'm going to take. Um, I like, oh. I like, I like to go out for dinner with my family. Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Erickson, your examples were? May I have your examples, please? Okay. I, yes, okay. I took my fiancé out for dinner yesterday. All right. That's how we talk. I took uh, my fiancé. My fiancé. Out um, for dinner. For dinner. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, very good. And which, what was your other example? I'm going to I'm going to take my mom out for dinner tonight. Okay, that's how we talk. It sounds more natural. It sounds way better than saying I'm going to invite, right? Okay, great examples. Ronald, your example was more like inviting or, or offering somebody to go out for dinner, right? May I have your example, please? Okay. Um, would you like to go out for dinner with oh, okay. me? Would, would you okay. like with me. to go out for dinner with me? With me, okay. That's great. That's great. That's uh, you're offering. Uh, you're offering to take somebody out for dinner. Estás ofreciendo eh, salir a cenar. Very good. Y así se usa. That's how we use it, guys. That's how we use the language. Así se utiliza el vocabulario. That's how you say in English que vas a salir a cenar o que vas a invitar a alguien a cenar. Recuérdense que go out for dinner no hacer en el sentido de ir a comer comida rápida like Taco Bell, McDonald's. Here you're going to, you know, go to a nice place, go to a nice restaurant, okay? Um, all right, Ronald, can you say, would you like? Would you like? Would. Would you like? Yes. Would you like to go out for dinner with me? Would you like to go out for dinner with me? There you go. Thank you very much. All right, good. So um, we're going to... We're going to um, learn some other vocabulary. Recuérdense que el tema de hoy es out for dinner. Estamos hablando de vocabulario para salir a cenar. Okay. And okay. Um, we're making, it's always important to make a list of the vocabulary. Es bien importante hacer esto, el vocabulario. Es bien importante 
especialmente entender las frases claves antes de hacer una actividad de listening para que pues, ustedes tengan, puedan escuchar esos, de, esos, esos keywords, esas palabras claves. Las, eh, la, let's say, eh, keywords, las palabras claves para este listening activity or important words, palabras importantes eh, van a, o frases van a ser, eh, por ejemplo, uh, ask for the check. Another phrase is going to be order, order food. Order food, arrive at a restaurant, arrive at a restaurant. And next is reserve, reserve a table, reservar una mesa, okay? So that's the vocabulary that we're going to use for this listening activity. Ahorita lo explico. All right. Okay, good. Now, uh, the first one is ask for the check. Ask for the check is pedir la cuenta. Pedir la factura. Okay, aquí la palabra check no es el, un, un cheque así que tú haces que giras. No, es aquí en, en términos de restaurante o hoteles cuando dices... Cuando dices, may I have the check, please? Uh, estás pidiendo que te den tu, tu factura o lo que, el total de lo que consumiste para pagar. Ok. Um, por ejemplo, um, cuando, tú, cuando tú pides el, 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 la cuenta, puedes usar modal verbs como could or can. Right? Could or can. Y la frase, could we have the check, please? Cuando tú dices, could we have the check, please? That means that you want to pay. Quieres, eh, te traen la, por lo regular en un como, en algo así, ¿verdad? Como una agendita, no sé. Te traen ahí la facturita. Digamos esto. Esto sería mi check. Ahí viene el mesero. Si es un lugar bonito, no te lo van a poner solo así en la mesa. Mira, aquí está. No, here you go. No. It's usually they put it inside this little, uh, like, booklet or, Agenda thing, right? So, te lo entregan tipo así. Here you go. You open it up. Oh, here's the check. This is the check. Do you understand? Yeah. Check. Yeah. Okay, good. So, la frase es, um, could we have the check, please? Repeat. Could we have the check, please? Could we have the check. Okay. Let's repeat. Could we have the check? We have the check, please. Yes. Y ahora van a agregarle, excuse me, waiter. ¿Verdad? Can waiter? we have the check, please? Yes. Excuse me, waiter. Could we have the check, please? Excuse me, waiter. Uh -huh. We have the check, please. That is correct. Excuse me, waiter. Mm -hmm. Could we have the check, please? That's nice. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, estamos, este vocabulario les va a funcionar mucho, pero vamos, si están en un día viajando o algo y necesitan eh, pedir su cuenta, lo pueden hacer de esta manera. All right. Luego tenemos order food. Order food eh, claramente es, eh, estás, estás dándole tu orden al mesero, ¿verdad? Le estás dando tu orden al mesero. Eh, recuerden que tenemos, eh, tenemos waiter, y es hombre. Right? A man. Y si es mujer. Waitress. Si es una mujer. Waiter. If it's a man. And waitress. If it's a woman. Okay? All right. Back to ordering food. De regreso a, a pedir, a uh, ordenar la comida. A pedir la orden. Okay. All right. So here. Voy a utilizar unas frases para pedir la comida. Aquí voy a usar el modal verb would. I would. Right? So, recuerden que utilizamos would like to para decir me gustaría. Pueden decir I would like, uh, I would like, I would like. Solo utilizamos I would like uh, the, the, the chicken, digamos el pollo, el menú. I would like the chicken and vegetables, please. Es decir, lo que te gustaría el, um, la gallina, el pollo, no la gallina, el pollo con vegetales. All right? Esto, claro, que lo pueden reducir. 
pueden decir eh, I'd, I'd, ok? I'd like, I'd like the steak and, and french fries. I like the steak and the french fries. Es lo mismo, el, I, el, uh, aquí tenemos la contracción, I'd like, I'd like, y aquí tenemos la forma larga, would like. All right. Um, aquí estamos usando un modal verb para pedir la comida, para ordenar, pero también puedo usar, en este sentido, puedo usar el, el verbo will, eh, que se utiliza por lo, por lo general para el futuro, pero aquí lo puedo utilizar para ordenar. All right. Utilizar la frase will más el verbo have. Will have. You understand? De la misma manera puedo decir uh, I will have the chicken and vegetables. Pueden hacer una contracción de I, el, el, el pronombre con el modal verb y decir I'll, I'll have, um, I'll have, I'll have I'll have the steak and french fries. Es exactamente lo mismo uh, que utilizar el modal verb would. Aquí es, I will have, with a reduction, I'll have. Okay? Are we good so far? Okay. Muy bien, entonces... Regresando, ¿cómo ordenamos la comida? Pueden hacerlo de dos formas. Pueden optar por usar el, el modal verb would, el would like. Right. That's one option. Esa es una forma de hacerlo. O pueden utilizar, eh, por utilizar el will have, que es lo right. mismo. All right. Ahora, pidamos, la, eh, pidamos nuestra orden utilizando. El will have sería lo, igual que I would like. Me yes, gustaría. that is correct, sir. It's the same thing. So, we'll say... I will have the chicken and vegetables. Say it. I will have the chicken and vegetables. I will have the chicken and vegetables. Okay. Ronald? <laughs> I would like the chicken and vegetables. All right, excellent. Puedes decirlo con will have? Um, I will have mm -hmm. the chicken and vegetables. Thank you very much. Kason? I will have the chicken and vegetable. Kason, are you still on the line? Kason, estás ahí conectado? Con la reducción vamos a decirlo I'll have. I'll. I'll. I'll have. Digan I y luego uh, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll have, have the steak and I'll the have French fries. I'll have the steak and French fries. French fries. That's correct. Let's see, Erickson or Hasten. Okay. Yes, there's somewhere there. Okay, tenemos aquí contractions. Uh, contractions, vamos a decir el I will. I will, se va a reducir a qué? Vamos a decirlo como I'll. 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 <clears throat> el I would like, se va a reducir. Uh, I, okay. I'll have and I'd like. Okay, got it? Y aquí van a decir que van a pedir el menu card, from the menu card, okay? So, listen and uh, practice with me. I'll have the chicken. I'll have the chicken. I'll have the chicken. I'd I'll like. have the chicken. Very good. I'd like the chicken. I'd like the chicken. I, I, I I'd like, like the chicken. chicken. Good. Recuerdense pronunciar la, la, la D. I'd. I'd like the chicken. 
I'd like the chicken. Okay, good. Um, otra cosa es, es de, eh, digamos, eh, aparte de, de la reducción, um, bueno, vamos a, ahorita les voy a platicar de otro aspecto, un tip gramatical, pero con I'll have and I'd like, let's see, um, quiero que me den ejemplos, denme un par de ejemplos, quiero escucharlos. A ver, pues, piensen en su ejemplo y me lo dicen. Pueden levantar la manita o decirlo, estoy oyendo, I'm listening. Okay. I don't like coffee without sugar. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like. Coffee? Yeah. I, don't, I don't like coffee without sugar. I like, I'd like coffee, uh, you could say with, with no sugar. With, with no, no sugar. Okay, with no, with no yes. sugar. Or if you want to sound more natural, Erickson, and I know you love this a lot, uh, because you're always hunting for idioms and expressions, you could say, si quieren sonarse más natural todavía con esta oración de I'd like coffee with no sugar, pueden decir I'd like coffee, ¿verdad? Quiero café. Hold the sugar. Hold the sugar. Hold the sugar. Aquí es, hold the sugar quiere decir, hey, sin azúcar. Hold the sugar. Oh, okay. okay. Hold the sugar. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'd like coffee, Thank hold you. the sugar. Or please hold the sugar. Para ser más amable, más cortés. Please hold the sugar. Okay. All right. Um, Ahora que I me, like... Er, I'm sorry, just a second, uh, Dieguito. Erickson, I want to hear you now. Auto says esta frase? Okay, okay. So, I don't like coffee. Hold it short, please. Ah, very good. Thank you. Ahí estamos. Okay, go ahead. Um, Diego, please, go ahead. Um, I'd like a, a piece of cake. Okay. I'd like a piece of cake. Excellent. Thank you very much. Con I'll have. Can we get some examples with I'll have? I'll have. I'll have. I'll have. I'll have. Examples with I'll have. Ronald Hasten, I'm listening. Ronald Hasten. <clears throat> Eh, mm -hmm. Podría usar el, el for, I'm sorry, can I get that eh, again? La, eh, Podría usarlo así. Mm, I do like to go out for breakfast in the I, I hope. Yeah, yes, for sure, for sure. Solo que ahí no estás ordenando del menú, pero estás invitando a alguien o ofreciéndole a alguien. I like to go out. Can I get that again, please? Can I, I like to go out? Uh, I like to, to go out for breakfast in the IHOP. Uh, okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> that's great. ¿Cuáles son las reglas de at? Un lugar. At, at okay. IHOP. Is that correct? IHOP, right? Yeah. Entonces, <clears throat> quitaría in the Yes, please. Solo at. Yes, yeah, good. That's good. That's a great example. Thank you very much. Good work. All right. Now, uh, I need some examples with I'll have. Come on. I'll have. I'll have. I'll have. I'll, I'll have orange juice, please. Okay. I'll have um, orange juice, please. All right, excellent. Diego? Um, okay. Imagínate que tienes una, una carta, ¿verdad? Menu card. ¿Cuánto platino? ¿Cuánto, una bebida. A drink. Ronald Hasten. I'll have I'll have a steak. Mm -hmm. I'll have a steak. I'll have a steak. I'll have, a, 
Okay. Yes. I'll have the steak, please. I have a steak, please. Okay, very good. Very good. That's, that's great. I'll have the steak, please. <clears throat> All right, good. I need another example, Jason, or uh, let's see who's there, Ronald. I'll have two slices of cake, please. Sure, absolutely, sir. I'll have two, two slices, is that correct, two slices? Yeah, I did right because I'm so hungry right now. Two slices of cake, please. Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks a lot. Very good. Entonces, de esa manera es como utilizamos I'll have and I'd like. Solo una... <clears throat> Let's uh, practice. A ver, vamos a practicar la pronunciación de esto. Es bien importante que se, escuchen, eh, que se les escuche claro. Okay. So, number one. I'd like coffee with no sugar. Two, I'd like coffee, hold the sugar, please. I'd like a piece of cake. Four, I'd like to go out for breakfast at IHOP. Five, I'll have orange juice, please. Six, I'll have the steak, please. I'll have two slices of cake, please. Okay. Good. Ahora, el, el mesero, ¿cómo les preguntaría a ustedes? The waiter, ¿cómo les pre ¿qué preguntas creen que les haría el mesero? A ver, Erickson, ¿cómo le preguntarías? Si, si tú trabajaras en un hotel aquí eh, exclusivo de Guatemala y te tocara trabajar, eh, ser bilingüe, ¿cómo le, cómo te, cómo le dirías a los, a los clientes eh, si ya están listos para ordenar? How would you say? Uh, maybe, what would you like to order? I'm sorry, I was not prepared for that. Can I get that again, please? What would you like to order? Oh, okay. Very good. What? Can I have you, or can I, or may I have you order? What would you like to order? Okay. Next example, what was that, Erickson? May I have the... Have your order. Very good. May I have your order? Please. Okay. I am. I have your order. Not bad. Very good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Very good. Um, another way of saying it, perhaps, could be, uh, are you ready to order? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to order? Están listos para ordenar? Um, can I take your order, please? Okay. Um, un poquito más casual. What are you having tonight? Okay. Very good. Silenciamos los micrófonos si hay plática en el, en el fondo, please. Okay. Um, what are you having tonight? ¿Qué, va a ser, eh, qué van a ordenar hoy? ¿Qué, ¿O qué van a cenar? Okay. Or, si quieren sonar un poquito más casual, what can I get you? What can I get you? What can I? What can I get you? Get you. Este get you, pues, suena más como reducido, como un get you. What can I get you? What can I get you? Okay. What can I get you? Okay. So, listen and practice. Number one, um, what would you like to order? What would you like what to order? What would you like to order? What would you like to order? Correct. Two. May I have your order, please? May I have your May order, I have please? Your order. May I have your order, please? Correct. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? Four. Can I take your order, please? Can I take your order, please? Five. What are you having tonight? What are you having tonight? Good. Six. What can I get you? What can I get you? That's good. <laughs> All right. Nice. Hey, what can I get you? Well, ahora, 
están ustedes en, en, en mi restaurante, right? Y yo les voy, a, les voy a preguntar y ustedes me van a decir qué quieren eh, de, del menú, the menu card, ¿ok? Ok, good. Entonces, esta es la situación. Yo les voy a, me voy a acercar a la mesa de ustedes y les voy a preguntar si están listos para ordenar y me van a pedir su orden, ¿ok? So, for instance, le voy a preguntar a Jason Why Eric's Erickson e Erickson and I said yes sir I'm ready I'm ready to order and um he points to order I'll have or I would like etc okay 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 all right <clears throat> so um let's see vamos al vocabulario este es un role play yo estoy asumiendo el rol del mesero y Erickson asumiendo el rol de cliente Okay. All right, estoy en un lugar un poquito más eh, fino y voy a decir, good evening, sir. What would you like to order? Okay, I would like the chicken and vegetable, please. And I, I like how, and I all have the stick. And I, I don't like coffee. Uh, hold the sugar, please. All right, so um, my pleasure. Coming up, no problem. Number two. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay. Hi, good night. Uh, may I have your order, please? Okay, sure. I would like to use lettuce of cake, please, and I like uh, orange juice. Okay, so that would be two slices of cake and orange juice. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Okay, I'll be right back with your order. Thank you. Okay, um, number three. Um, hi, good night. This is uh, Emerson. I'll be your waiter tonight. Are you ready to order? Yes, absolutely. I'm ready to order. I'm so hungry right now. So okay. I'd like that steak, please. A steak? Yeah, a steak. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. All right. No, no, no biggie. I'll get you. I'll get you the steak. And uh, for and uh, what would you like to drink? Okay. I would like um, a coffee. Hold the sugar, please. Coffee, hold the sugar. So it's the steak. You're going to have the steak and coffee, hold the sugar, correct? Yeah, that's right. Right, awesome. I'll be right back with your order. Good. Number four. Hi, how's it going? My name's Emerson. Can I take your order, please? Okay. I will write the... I will write the... Um, I would like uh, a, sli a slice of pizza, please. I'm sorry, sir. You you broke up. Can 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 I get that again? Okay, I do like uh, I'd like a slice of pizza, please. A slice of pizza. All right, one yeah. slice of pizza coming up right now. And uh, what would you like to drink? What can okay. I get you? I'll I'll have a, a, a glass of water, please. All right, so a slice of pizza and a glass of water coming up right now. Thank you. Yeah. Number five. Um, okay, so let's see. Hey, welcome. And my name is Emerson. What are we having tonight? Okay, I go like top uh, chicken. I go like the chicken and fry fruit, please. You like the the chicken and the fried bread? Private. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. There's uh, interference. Can I get that again? Okay, I will have a chicken and the fries, please. And the fries. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. So that's uh, that's uh, so it would be the chicken and fries. And what would you like yeah. to drink with that? Okay. I like a soda. Soda. What flavor would you like? Yeah, I got so, Coke, I got uh, Sprite. I like a Coke. Okay, so let me just uh, repeat that for you. So you like the the chicken uh, with the, uh, you said uh, the fries? And the yeah. uh, and a soda, a Coke. That's it. Okay, That's great, coming like. up, sir. Good, number six. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you today? Okay, I would like a Big Mac, please, um, and, a, and an ice cream. 
Oh, great, great. So that'd be the Big Mac and an ice cream. Now, would you like that extra, would you like that large or normal size? Normal size, please. Normal size, okay. Big Mac, uh, normal size, regular size, and you'd like an ice cream. Okay, so what flavor would you like? Okay, uh, can I get that again? What flavor would you like? I got chocolate, vanilla, caramel. Uh, vanilla, please. Okay, so coming up, vanilla. Is there a, is there a, so, is there a soda in the, in the menu? Yeah, of course, we've got, uh, yeah, what, what flavor of soda would you like? Okay, uh, I like a Sprite. A Sprite, okay, so that'll be Big Mac, Sprite, and regular size, and you'd like a, um, for desserts, you said you wanted an ice cream. What flavor would you like? Okay, vanilla. Vanilla, okay, so there you go, vanilla. Yeah. Ice cream. Okay, great. So we'll have your order ready in just a moment, please. Uh, that, that'll be 2460. And uh, thank you very much. And just uh, could you step out this side and we'll have your order ready. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your food. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, good. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Erickson, for helping me there. Okay, are we good there, uh, people? Ronald, Hayson, Diego? Yeah. Okay, good. Did you listen to the examples? Escucharon los ejemplos? Yes. Okay, good. Muy bien, very good. And finally, let's move on with the vocabulary. Now we're going to say, um, let's say, ya cubrimos paying the check. Now we're going to talk about reserving a table, reservar una mesa. Reserving a table. Okay, so when you're reserving a, a table, um, llegas al, rest, al, rest, al restaurante y le preguntas al, al host, el host, el host es, el, es como el que, te, el que encuentras en la entrada y te ubica en una silla, en un, en, perdón, en una mesa. Ese es the host, okay? The host, the restaurant host, okay? The restaurant host. ¿Cómo se llama el, ese, esa, esa persona que tiene ese puesto de ubicarte? ¿Cómo se llama? Host. The host. The host. Sí, él no toma tu orden en sí. Él no toma tu orden. Él solo te, te, te ubica en, en tu asiento. ¿Ok? Este es the host. Host o con diptongo. Host. Host. ¿Ok? Host if it's a man. Y si es mujer, hostess. Woman. The hostess. The restaurant hostess es la, el, la mujer. La, la, pero en, en femenino. Okay? Hostess. Okay, good. Can you guys say that? Hostess. 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 There you go. Ok, good. So, la persona esta viene uh, y te, tú llegas al, let's say, vas a un lugar, va. Uh, let's say, a nice restaurant, right? Y te, te recibe en la entrada y tú le haces la, tú le haces la pregunta. Do you have a table for? Mencionas la cantidad de personas, please. Okay, so hey, good night. Uh, do you have a table for six? Do you have a table for seven? Do you have a table for two? Okay. Otra frase útil is um, it's four y la cantidad de personas que se van a sentar. Okay, so the hostess llega, llegas tú. Hey, we'd, uh, we'd like a table. Nos gustaría una mesa también. We'd, we would like, we would like a table for X amount of people, please. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, we would like a table for three. We would like a table for, for two. We can use a reduction here. We'd like a table for X amount, please. Okay, we'd like a table for X amount, please. Okay, so vocabulary when arriving at a, when, excuse me, reserving a, a table, you're reserving a table. 
would be, for instance, we'll say the restaurant host, restaurant host, restaurant hostess. Do you have a table for two, please? It's for four people. Um, we would like a table for two, please. We'd like a table for four, please. Okay. That's to reserve the table. And when you are arriving, when you're arriving at the, at the place, right? You're arriving at, at a restaurant. When you're arriving at a restaurant, you could use phrases like this. For instance, we would say, um, yeah, good night. Llegas con el hostess. Se saludan y todo. Yeah, good night, whatever. He says, okay, yeah, I have a table reserved in my name, in the name of, right? I have a table um, reserved in the name of, okay? So yeah, good night. I have a table reserved in the name of Smith, in the name of Lopez, in the name of Gonzalez. Uh huh. Or we have uh, we have a reservation. We have a reservation for two. Tenemos una reservación. We got a reservation for two. Se solo entiende que es una mesa para dos. We have a reservation for two. Okay. Um, or you could say um, we reserved earlier. We reserved earlier a uh, a table for two. Reservamos eh, tem reservamos temprano o antes. Reservamos earlier. We reserved earlier. I'm sorry, earlier uh, a table for two. Okay. Or quieres preguntarle? Can you can you check? Uh, can you check if there's a reservation under? Can you check if there's a reservation under Gonzalez? Can you check if there's a reservation under Miranda, for example? Okay. So that's the vocabulary that we would, we would use once you arrive to check to see you, your reservation, right? Um, let's put some numbers here. It's always easier. Okay, can, I, can I get the, the last one, please? Can, I, can you check if there is a reservation under? Uh, under? under Perez? Under name, right? Under the uh, last name, yeah. mm -hmm. under Frank Perez. Can you check if there's a reservation under Frank Perez? Perez. <laughs> uh, can you check if there's a reservation under William Gonzalez? Okay. So number one. Uh, okay. Let's see. I have a. I'm sorry. I forget these articles sometimes. Okay. So I have a table reserved in the name of William Gonzalez. We have a reservation for two, three. We reserved earlier. We have. A reservation. We, have. Mm -hmm. we we reserved earlier a table for two. Can you check if there's a reservation under? Can you check if there's a reservation under? That's it. Perfect. And that's going to uh, conclude the vocabulary part of this lesson. And now we can go ahead and practice our listening. Uh, the vocabulary that we're going to look for are uh, you know, the vocabulary, the keywords, the key vocabulary in this listening lesson. Uh, we're going to look for arrive at a restaurant, uh, you know, how to reserve a table, um, how to order, ask for the check, and all, all of these phrases. So I want you guys to, uh, in, in the next activity, I want you to pay attention, pay close attention to these phrases and see how this works out in real life, okay? Cool.